And so he'd be on me and just be looking everywhere else, like do 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 do, chilled and at peace. Like, your body is actually gonna break. Hey guys, my name is Emma and I'm 29 years old from London. I have a one and a bit year old called Jack. And yeah, I just wanted to tell my breastfeeding story. I am a channel mum, I'm also a working mum. I've just literally got back from work. I have started a sort of home truth series of content and I wanted to make this one all about my experience and sort of 10 home truths about breastfeeding. The good, the bad, the ups, the downs, um, lots of them are contradictory, all of them are my own experience, so let's go. So number one, and this is so important, um, and actually it applies to loads of stuff, and that is happy mom, happy baby, okay? Like number one rule, you've just gotta do what works for you as a mom in all areas of motherhood, but particularly breastfeeding. I have heard stories of women like, in so much pain and like incontinent and hurting and bleeding and all of those things that come with the kind of aftermath of giving birth. Like your body is actually gonna break. Don't listen to your mom, your partner, your ha your housewife, your midwife. Go with what works for you. However, my point number two is that you do have to persevere with breastfeeding. I remember at the beginning I did have a little slight problem with Jack latching on um, and I remember sitting for ages with my mom and just her kind of showing me. You do have to be patient with it, I think, and persevere. Number three, for me, breastfeeding felt really good. I actually started to really enjoy it. I found it really relaxing, especially at the end of the day. You are supposed to release this hormone called oxytocin, which is also called the cuddle chemical. So there are actually scientific things going on in your body when you breastfeed that just make you feel chill and at peace, and I definitely felt that. Point four. I found it really, really bonding to breastfeed Jack. I think because, maybe this is kind of selfish, but because you're the only person that can do it, really, like, it makes you really indispensable. Yeah, you're their source of nutrition in every way, so um, I just found that quite special. Point five, and I did tell you that they would contradict each other. Breastfeeding can be quite restrictive. It basically means you're totally tied to the baby, you can't leave them. I remember there was one time when had to go to a hen do, and my best friend's hen and I really wanted to go. So I literally like fed Jack, raced off. Then I had to rush back, and I was like, how many hungry? And it wasn't exactly an ideal scenario. I suppose I could have expressed, but for me, I just found expressing. I just didn't enjoy that experience at all. I found it stressful, I found it boring. I did do it a couple of times, but I definitely didn't express regularly to kind of get into that routine. Number six. Um, yeah, restrictive also in terms of what you eat and what you drink. So I was conscious of not drinking too much caffeine, of not eating too many spicy foods. Not massively, for me it wasn't actually a big thing, but you are supposed to be really careful about your consumption. Number seven, I'm running out of fingers. Breastfeeding I found so convenient. Again, really contradictory. Just remember this feeling of being out, I think, on, in a park somewhere, like quite far from shops and stuff, and Jack was small and just thinking, Wow, like I literally don't need anything for Jack, I've just got me and that's enough to provide for him and that's a really amazing, empowering feeling. No sterilising, no buying of the formula and which formula they like. It's free, which is awesome. And I remember actually thinking, oh my gosh, I'm not looking forward to him eating food because I have to prepare it and actually cook it and, you know, contain it. And all of that just seems so complicated compared to just boobs. <laughs> Number eight, breastfeeding can also be really inconvenient and messy. You can get infections. I was really lucky I didn't get any. I applied nipple cream like religiously, like twice a day, all the time, just because I really, really was worried about getting infections. So I knew if I got infections, I can feed. And I do think we need a bit of confidence. Like there is still a bit of a taboo about breastfeeding, and you have to be, I suppose, conscious of it. And I don't know, like it just can be difficult. Like there was one time Jack was really unhappy. We were on a tube. Granted, there weren't many people, it was kind of early in the day, and I had to breastfeed him because he was just really unhappy, and that just felt weird, to be honest. Also, like, the leaking thing, I remember one time I forgot my, um, what are they called now, like, the pads, and I just started leaking whilst having a conversation with someone, and that is just not cool. I'm not a particularly big person, and I just remember Jack was just really big and heavy and cumbersome for me to hold and feed, and then I remember when I did switch to bottle, it was a really strange experience, I was like, wow, anyone can give me bottle also really amazing like I could just be in a shop and he'd be hungry and I could just give him a bottle and that for me was really quite amazing and it was so easy I didn't have to find a convenient place to 
stop, I didn't have to see him around, etc. I just gave him a bottle. Actually, I don't have to get my boob out on public transport, as well as being on the tube when I had to feed him. I remember also just couldn't find anywhere to stop, so I literally just sat on a pavement and breastfed him one time. Like, it can be inconvenient. Number nine. I love the fact that breastfeeding is nutritious for the baby and nutritious for me. What I mean, I guess, by nutritious is it wards off illnesses and infection um, of the baby. It provides lots of antibodies. And for the mum, it is apparently supposed to help you lose weight because it shrinks your uterus. So I just like the fact that there were those added nutritional benefits, which I think, yeah, they're pretty important. Number 10, it can be a bit stressful if you're the kind of person that needs kind of order and control over things because with breastfeeding obviously you just don't know how much they're consuming and I remember thinking a bit like oh has he had enough and oh how do I switch sides and how much they're there and it is a little bit stressful as opposed to a bottle where you just you know you measure their seven ounces to have it they don't have it easy so I breastfed Jack exclusively for seven months with a bottle of formula here or there maybe like once or twice and then really he just weaned himself off which was amazing I was really grateful for he kind of just stopped being interested I remember one morning I breastfed him thought he'd had a proper feed went downstairs to give him a bottle because I was at this stage trying to transition from breast to bottle and he like guzzled the whole thing so I was like oh he clearly wasn't getting enough from me and by that point he was also starting to eat and it just seemed to work really naturally that as he was starting to eat food I then started to give him formula and sort of stopped the breastfeeding thing and he yeah just didn't seem that interested. He's also super active and so he'd be on me and just be looking everywhere else like, doo -doo 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 -doo, and just didn't want to feed so that was getting a bit difficult too. Overall I really really love breastfeeding. It does come with its challenges but then so do lots of things in life. Um, it felt really natural for me. I really hope to be able to do it again. So yeah that's my story. That's my home truths about breastfeeding. Ups and downs. The good, the bad, the ugly, the leaky, <laughs> the awkward, etc. Uh, thank you for watching and um, yeah, please subscribe to my channel. Good night. Just boobs. <laughs>